Welcome to this video. Today I will be walking you through some basic maintenance that you can do on your Mozilla Firefox web browser to help keep it running at its peak efficiency, but also to keep it safe, secure, private, and also some customization you can do as well. Yes, I am doing this on a Windows computer, but please be aware this will also work for Mac users. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and open up Firefox. And this very first step is the only step that's different between Windows and Mac users. So I'm going to go over Windows first, and then I'll explain uh, Mac users after that. So Windows users, come up to the top right corner of your window, click on the menu button, and go down to Help, and then click on About Firefox. This will just make sure that your Firefox web browser is up to date. This is very important for security updates as well as just recent updates to the performance of the web browser. If it's not up to date, it will start updating automatically and then prompt you to restart Firefox. If it is up to date, you'll get a little note like this saying it is up to date. Now Mac users, what you'll need to do is up in the top left corner of your screen next to the Apple icon, click on Firefox and go down to About Firefox and you'll get the exact same little menu. Now after you have verified that Firefox is up to date, go back to the top right corner, click on the menu button, and go down to Add-ons. Make sure that you have the Extensions option selected in the left-hand column, and this will give you a list of all the extensions on your Firefox web browser. Before we do anything, click on the gear icon and click on Check for Updates just to make sure all of your updates, or excuse me, all of your extensions are up to date. I would also recommend making sure you have a check mark next to Update Automatically just for future updates. Now a word about extensions. Yes, extensions are fun and convenient. They do have some useful features, but they can be terrible for privacy and security. They can let malware in, and they also slow the web browser down. And so I strongly recommend that you remove as many extensions off of your web browser as possible. This will increase performance, privacy, and security. The only exception I would recommend is if you have one that has to do with your password manager. I do recommend keeping those, but all others I would strongly consider removing, especially if it has the word toolbar in it. Virtually every extension with the word toolbar in it is bad. So to remove an extension, we just click on remove. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these extensions. And then if you have an extension that you absolutely cannot part ways with, I do recommend that you at least disable it while it's not in use. So I'm actually going to disable my password manager because I'm currently not using it. And this will help, again, increase privacy, security, and performance on your web browser. Next, we want to go to plugins in the left-hand column. And this will give you a list of all the plugins on your browser, your Firefox web browser. And what you want to do here is just go through each listed option and change it to ask to activate if available. Not every single item here will have that option available and that's fine. Just change it on the ones that does give the option, and this will help keep these plugins from running in the background, which again, will help optimize the web browser. Next, for some customization options, we're going to come up here to this empty area and just right click. And if I click on menu bar, it will add this menu up here in the top left corner. Some people like to have that there. That's how you add it if you'd like to do so. I'm gonna right click again and click on bookmarks toolbar. And if we have any bookmarks, it will list them right here across this toolbar. I don't currently have any, but that's where they will show if you do. And then I can right click again and just uncheck those items to remove it. We can also right click again and click on customize and it will give us additional customization options. So for example, if I want to add any of these to my bar up here, I can do so. I just click and drag and you can see I can drop it wherever I want. I can even come over here to the left-hand side and put it if I'd like to do so. I'm just gonna put it right here. And then if we decide we want to get rid of something, you just click it and pull it back and let it go. Additionally, you wanna come back up here to the top right corner and look for the icon that looks like some books and click on it and go down to history. And here it will give us the option to clear our history if we choose to do so click on clear recent history, it will pull up this menu, and we can change the time frame if we'd like to do so, as well as we can check whatever items we want cleared. If you wanna get rid of everything, select everything, check every box, and then go ahead and click on clear now. 
Next, we're going to go back to the menu button in the top right corner, and this time go down to options. If you're on a Mac, it will say preferences, but it's the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and click on options, and we're not going to go over every single setting and option here, just the main ones. And so first make sure that you have general selected in the left hand column. And right here we can change what happens to Firefox on startup when we first open it. If we want it to restore the previous session, we just check that box. We can also make Firefox the default if we'd like to do so by clicking this button. Next we're going to go back to the left hand column and click on home. And if we want to change our home page, we can do so right here just by selecting this drop down menu. We can type in a custom URL, so if we wanted to use, uh, for example, if we just wanted to use Google as our home page, we can just type it in there. And then this time when I click on the home button in the top left corner, you can see now Google is our home page. Additionally, we can change what happens on new tabs if we'd like to do so, just again with this drop down menu. If you ever need to undo any changes, you can click on restore defaults by selecting this button. And then continuing on, we're going to click on search in the left hand column. It does give us the option to change the search bar. Um, just be aware that the address bar and the search bar have been combined. They have the same function. So this is more of a cosmetic look than a functionality look. But we can change it if we'd like to do so. Um, additionally, if you need to change your default search engine, you just click on the drop down menu and it will give you a list to select from if you need to change it. If you need to remove something from the search engine options, you can do so. This is especially handy if you've recently had malware on the computer because often it will put a malware related search engine on this list. So to remove something, you just select it and then click on remove and it's gone. Continuing on, we're going to click on privacy and security in the left hand column. And Firefox is really good about trying to increase privacy and so they do have some controls here uh, that you can customize as far as increasing your privacy on the web. Standard does a pretty good job. Um, it only blocks known trackers in private windows, however, so you can change it to strict to increase privacy, but please be aware that it may cause some websites not to work correctly. Now, I've tested this. I've been using this strict setting for several months, many months, and I really haven't had that many issues. They've done a really good job with this, so if you want to give it a try, you can. And please note, you can see when Firefox is actually blocking something on the page. And so for an example, if I go to ESPN, it's kind of small, but up here on the address bar, you can see a little shield icon. It looks just like this larger shield icon. So if I actually click on it, it gives us the settings for this website, and we can see that some content is being blocked. But we can customize that, and if we wanted to, we could turn it off for this specific website. So if you want to use strict, and then turn it off for specific websites that you may know as problems with or that you trust, you can do that. You definitely have that option. Now continuing down the list, we do have the do not track option. We can set it to always to try to increase privacy. Please be aware that this do not track option is kind of an on your honor system as far as websites honoring it. It's up to them. They do not have to do it, and many websites do not do it. Uh, but you can still set it to this option and it may help in some cases, other cases though it may just get ignored, so please be aware of that. Continuing down this list, uh, we can manage our logins and passwords. If we click on saved logins, it will give us a list. Now I don't have anything saved here, but on yours, if you do, it will give you a list of all of your saved logins with your passwords. If you need to remove one or import from a different web browser like Google Chrome, or if you need it to show your passwords, you can do so um, as well in case you forgot one. And then continuing on the autofill option, we can also manage our saved addresses, especially handy if you've moved or just need to update something. You can remove, add, or edit uh, from that menu. Additionally, you can set Firefox to never remember your history if you'd like to do so or use a custom setting. Now, yes, you do have a private window option up here in the top right corner in the menu that will not by default remember your history, but some people forget to go into a private window and don't remember till later. So if you just don't want to have to worry about it, you can just set it to never remember your history if you choose to do so. Continuing down the list uh, right here. Now Mozilla does a better job than most companies as far as respecting your privacy with data collection. However, if you do want to increase your privacy, 
You can uncheck these options. Again, that's up to you if you choose to do so. And then last thing from settings, go back to the left hand column and select Firefox account. You do have an option to set up an account. Uh, this is mainly used for syncing across devices. So that way, all of the settings we just went through, all the changes we just made with the add-ons, the, the plugins and extensions, all the setting changes, if you sign in, create and sign in an account with Firefox, it will sync all of those changes across your devices so you don't have to do it manually on each device. The only thing it won't change is your history. The history will still be saved for each individual device. If you need to create an account, you just click right here on get started. Now one last thing as far as customization, we can go back to the menu in the top right corner and go back down to add-ons. Uh, this time select themes and we do have an option to change the way Firefox looks as far as cosmetics. Uh, it does have some default options here. We can enable a light or a dark or we can just stick with the default. But we can also get additional options and I will post a link down below in the notes down in the video description. This is from Mozilla's website uh, to these official themes. These are all completely safe and so if we want to completely change how our web browser looks to something that's more personal, for example I can go to the top rated category, I'll just select more. We can go through the uh, listed options here and try to find something that we like. We just click on it and click on install theme and you can see that it will change the way our menu looks up here at the top and we can install as many as we'd like. Um, we can just go down the list, install some more and it does have quite a few on here so it's, it's a pretty long list. It's well into the thousands um, so you can, you can also search if you need to do so but you can just find something that you like and really customize and personalize the browser so it fits you. Now if you want to remove or make changes, just go back to this menu underneath themes and we can remove the themes we just added and go back to the default at any time. So this is completely up to you, just some more customization options. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments, questions, or need help, please post those down below in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.